Now we're live. We're live! Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for joining us. We're, we're sorry we ran late, but we had a flow going with Entertainment Weekly and we they were getting some good dirt out of Chris, so we had to stay. We yeah. had to stay. But now we're here. Thank you for joining us. On the social media. Yeah. 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 More elusive than Nathan Dean. Someone said, I think Chris might be more elusive than Nathan Dean. Uh, we have a bet going, Nathan and I, so. Shut up. No. I was like, wait. <laughs> We're hiding out together. We're just hanging out, having barbecue. It's all good. Yeah, exactly. The rest of us are like <laughs> answering questions. Okay, so I'm just going to. dive into it because why not because you guys sent me a bunch of great questions but if you have more please pop them up send here them in here and we will we will get to them okay so personal stuff first what are like your biggest writing influences and tell them about like your entry into this world and everything uh in the, in the quickest way possible like uh i have i'm standing here or i'm sitting here because of julie pleck uh julie pleck worked on a show called kyle xy a million years ago yep. and gave me my first start there so thank you so much for that and then flash forward, I get to sit here with Janine Mason and answer uh, questions and watch little white heart bubbles float up. So That's when they're really excited about Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. I love this. Chris is back. Oh my God, I love all these already. <laughs> he doesn't have an Instagram. No. So no. This, is, this is why we're here. Yeah. Um, what's Michael Trevino up to? Right now in real time? What do you think? <laughs> He's probably at uh, Orange Theory is my guess. <laughs> He's working out. He's working out. Let's be real people. That's right. Okay, is it intimidating to run a show? Versus, obviously, Chris has been a writer for a very long time. Um, yeah, it's tricky. It's not, not the easiest thing in the world, I might say. Because you're handed, yeah. uh, you're handed uh, many millions of dollars and a whole, uh, like, 300 people. And they're like, uh, go and don't mess up. Yeah. Um, but I will say that what makes it far easier is uh, people like Janine, all of our cast and crew are amazing. There's so many people behind the scenes. There's literally like an army of people that give you that 42 minutes every week that we could not do this without everybody's integral little part. Yeah, I feel like you are really great at surrounding yourself with people who are 100 and like are professionals and work and like yep. the way you work with the values you work. Is yeah. that something you like? That you like do it's good intentionally and they cover me if i leave and just uh play hooky a hundred percent okay um oh also i saw someone yes we are in the crash down cafe yeah uh, here she is in all her glory our very sweet lighting team put it together for us so that we could show you guys a little bit of the inside can we keep david de santos please yes yes we will keep him. we're very much trying to <laughs> um yeah Okay, so what can you tease that's coming up this season that you enjoyed writing? I loved that question. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I would say first and foremost, the relationship stuff. Like I really dig uh, Max and Liz's journey. Yeah. And then I actually also love the Malik's journey put right up against that. Like mm -hmm. both of those relationships yeah. bob and weave and turn in such a weird, interesting way, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of people being like, Chris has been dubbed the romantic. So... Can we expect romance this season? And I yeah, think you I might just cry right in the middle <laughs> of our Instagram thing now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna get Gino. Come say hi, Gino. Gino is our trusty PA. And he's gathering. Oh, oh he's we gotta lean all the way in. You gotta get like much. He's closer. gathering your questions. So keep sending them in. They're yeah. coming in. Okay, what character has the most growth this season? Oh my lord. Um, That's a hard one. Well, well, definitely as a goal, we really tried to, we looked at uh, 1 to 13 as like a big grow for all, everyone. I might say Amber. I agree. I That's think Rosa has. Rosa season. Yeah, like she has, um, yeah, the most bobs and twists mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that I don't think people are going to see coming. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it is a, it's a, it's a grow season for everyone. It just is. in this like metaphor you created of, of like seeing yourself in the yes. mirror and Jones. Exactly. I think, right, exactly. We've got Jones, someone that literally looks like them to hold a mirror up. That, that's great. So this is a season where everybody takes a big step forward mm -hmm. in their own life. Oh, hell yeah. 
Do you have a favorite episode this season? I haven't asked you guys either. Do you have a favorite episode? Do this I have season? a? They're all my favorite. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> uh, I would say. That's what he says about us. <laughs> right. Exactly. I, I think um, like three hundred eight is a real highlight for yeah. me. Uh, again, we we get weird. It's a big Maria heavy episode. Yes. Um, you have a cool storyline where you're mostly alone dealing with like the elements by yourself. That was a fun one. It, it's fun, and there's a big twisty uh, Malik's thing going on in that episode. So it's kind of jam packed. Yes. Yeah. Which is the scene? Which is the episode where I can release that Malik's photo I took? No one listened. Ah. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't even know. I it's don't like know. I, I, don't know. Right? Like I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I have a Malik's picture coming. I yeah. haven't released it because they're in costume. Yeah. Um, and it's a particular costume, and you'll see why. So, yeah. But it's we'll coming. look forward to her spoiler. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So um, uh, Wyatt, I loved this question. Wyatt's amnesia raised interesting questions about identity. Why did you want that storyline? I, I think for that exact reason. I mean, we found ourselves at a very interesting place in America, mm -hmm. uh, a reckoning with uh, how do you make mistakes and how do you get yourself out of those mistakes? Can you change the narrative? Are you, are, do you drag that stuff with you forever? And should you be burdened with that? Should you be branded with right. that? Can you step past that? Mm -hmm. And. Uh, not that we necessarily have an answer of where they get, but we used uh, Wyatt and how he interacts in particular with Rosa to start to get into some of those larger themes kind of going out in the world right now. Oh, absolutely. And we love Dylan McTee and he's always so game. And yeah. Yeah, that's hard stuff to step into. Like, can we change? Can humans change? It is. And we, and we also, because we like Dylan, we wanted yeah. to see what else we could give him beyond just the one sort of yeah. other notes that we've given him past seasons. Yes. Yes, more McTee to come. Okay, this one, I love this one. Hmm. You don't have to say Liz. What's your favorite character to Liz. write for? Liz, <laughs> it's just Liz. <laughs> no, what's your favorite, for real though, what's your favorite, which I one don't know. easiest? Is there one that like just flows um, out of your brain easiest? No, I will say the back half of seasons are easier to write than the front half, because you're still yeah. kind of building all the storylines out, and then it, at some point it's like, well, there's only certain choices that Liz would make in these moments. Yeah. Uh, what I will say is one of my favorite things in, in particular for Liz is um, Liz makes a big discovery right. midway through the season. And then she really is on a track to just sort of like, to, there's a goal that you're trying to get to. And mm -hmm. we just continue to put obstacle after obstacle in front of you. Yeah. And it was, it was kind of fun to break that story to know like A to B is actually very simple, mm -hmm. but your journey is immensely difficult both emotionally and plot wise, I would say. Yeah, you're so good at that. Cause that's the most fun. It's like, you, you we know her enough now, you know, we mm -hmm. know what where her intention is, but how can we make her wobble? How can we make her wobble? <laughs> and I, I would argue too, as we get near the end, like really starting to question like, what mm -hmm. does Liz want? Yeah. Right, we've, we've heard her say mm -hmm. out loud, but when it's up on its feet, you kind of start to change maybe. Like, are these the things I want or not? Yeah, it's a big season about asking questions like that mm -hmm. like like life questions for themselves all yes. the characters yes. like ultimately what do i want and it makes sense with their age like where they're moving into and how long you all have gotten to be with them and we've gotten to grow with yeah. them and um i kind of feel like we were talking about this earlier in the entertainment weekly one like i kind of feel like this is a real season where it felt like everything coalesced in a good way like them growing in their own independent journeys and the way they lean on each other yeah the way they who they go to and like that felt really yeah. it feels really homey and nostalgic because of that because it, it, it is i would also say there's a, there's a little bit of a trilogy thing happened so we asked a bunch of questions in one and two and now yeah. we're getting getting to answer those questions right to try to tie up some of those looming things absolutely it's coming Okay, ooh, how many seasons do you have planned for Roswell, New Mexico? CW, are you in here? Yeah, exactly. Good, good. Double digits would be lovely. <laughs> uh, I have children, they go to private school, so that's, that's my favorite thing uh, to keep it going. I, I don't know, I think it'll go as long as the story keeps, yeah. uh, we're finding new bends and twists. So, uh, uh, literally, like we're breaking four, and yeah. uh, as we a start joke, shooting tomorrow, by the way. We start shooting tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. so everyone, you know, wish us luck there. Uh, yeah. But someone asked me the other day, they're like, Well, what about season five? And I said, I wrote my first idea for season five down on the board. So, Hell yeah. there's always more, at least yeah. for now. Love it, love it. You guys stay with us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I liked this, and I don't even think it needs to be. CWE. Okay. What's your dream crossover for our show? Uh, someone asked this once, and I was like, 
I think we might have to go with legacies because yeah. of the, the Julie Fleck family. It would it would totally be right. lovely, and we all loved it. Now. I don't know who Cameron would play in the crossover though. Would she be Freya? Oh, who would oh, Nathan be? Right. Would Nathan oh, be? A, shit. Wait, he, and Steven? And Steven. There's and we have people. another Originals person joining us for season four. We do, we do. So you're so going to have to hold gonna tight. This is going to get more and more complicated. Right. They're going to get so excited about that. <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, what is your favorite thing about each cast member? <laughs> and then we'll go through the crew, Gina. Don't worry. My favorite thing, I, I'll, I'll lump it. It would be too long. Like yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, would, we would not have any answers. Where do we stop? But I would say that for all of them, how committed they are yeah. and how how good at covering each other you are. Like yeah. I always feel like there's the, the there's a safety net. And I, as I always joke, you make the bullshit sound wonderful. So we write bananas things and they sell it. You're on set and you're like, oh my God, I thought that was ridiculous when I read it out loud in the mirror. Uh, but then you say it and you're like, <laughs> I totally believe that. You're the best, you're yeah. so sweet. I feel like Kyle, um, we were getting a lot of Kyle love earlier. Uh, um, and I feel like he is the king of that. He is so good at delivering yeah. these like strong act outs. Sure, he, he is and we also wrote him as like, uh, this straight man through, meaning like chaos and craziness happens to him. He gets to be the audience a little bit where he's just like, yeah, of course that weird thing happened to me or that thing fell out of the sky. Yes. Like he's so great at delivering the, uh, the world is bananas and here I am stuck in it. Oh yeah, we had our table read. I mean, on all these table reads, we're always just laughing at, at Trevino delivering stuff deadpan. But for this episode that airs tonight, he gives some like real talk. He does. To Liz. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like my, it's my favorite. I love when they get to tap into that part. Of I the love dynamic. that. And I think we also, if I remember correctly, like we, uh, we add a big twist to his storyline at the end of this episode. So mm -hmm. you're going to have to, uh, if there's some things I've hinted at before that we're going to start to unpack this episode for Kyle. For the Kyle lovers. Okay, ooh, I like this one too. Whoever submitted this, thank you. Would we ever do a holiday episode? Any holiday. So, uh, this has come up before in the room, uh, but there are things here native that I thought about, like uh, yeah. Zazobra yes! is a big festival here. Oh, and totally. they didn't do it last year because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that's something I want to incorporate into the show. So, it's yes. specific to regionally of what's going on here. Yes. Yeah. Um, you don't watch The Bachelorette. You don't watch it, right? We've never talked well, about it. Well, uh, maybe. I don't know if I can, <laughs> you, can you know. <laughs> right. Advertising. I might come back. Right, exactly. Like, I only watch CW on shows. on The Bachelorette, because yeah. this season shot in New Mexico, they're doing a Zizobra episode. Uh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> they beat us to it. Wait till our crossover <laughs> with The Bachelorette. It's going to be quite Dream good. Dream crossover yeah. for Janine. <laughs> Done. Okay, we're going to take some of your questions. Oh, Let's sweet. Do. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Kara Lynn said... Do you think that Max loves Liz more than Liz loves Max or the other way around? Or do you think it's truly equal? I would argue that this season is about figuring some of that out. Yeah. Who really loves whom and why do they love that other person? Yeah. Or why do they think I can no longer love that other person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot that pulls them to each other and that's undeniable. Yes. But it, they're, they care about each other's well-being enough that I mm -hmm. think they both do independently want also to know it's what's right for each of each Exactly. Of them, you know? Yeah. I think that where we're at in the season, though, each of you is fishing what the other one still thinks, is what yeah. I might argue. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can, you can ask us at the end of the teaser today I know. what you all think. Because tonight's episode is so, it's going to really illuminate a lot of that for mm -hmm. everyone, like where they're at. And... Um, yeah, it just like pulls your heartstrings. Nathan yeah. was really great in that last scene tonight. I'm pumped for people to see it. Yeah. Okay, Chrissy D said, will Liz have dance scenes in this or next season? I love Janine dancing. <laughs> well, we love Janine dancing too. We were just on EW talking about this. Yep. We, we literally built a set because our, our line producer, we wanted to do a dance sequence with you. Yes. And she's like, we can't do that because of COVID. Audley. It doesn't exist and it's dangerous. And like, yeah, exactly. Sweet, and we have, sweet Audley. We have other co-EPs on the show that were, and uh, other people in our room that are like huge fans of that. That's so sweet. So we ended up actually building a whole set so that you could have an early dance uh, sequence. But I will say it is not the only dancing moment for your character this season. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We we had fun with that. <laughs> I was super excited and, and, and it's pretty damn full out. We had sure. a choreographer. We, we did the whole thing. I'm wearing, you know, my ballroom heels, which I love any excuse to put on my ballroom heels. Sure. <laughs> okay. The real R. Smith said, besides Shiriak will be directing episodes. Will there be any guest appearances like Jason did last season? Uh, there will be. 
Uh, but I, I, I keep getting asked this, and I, and I keep I saying, you're going to just, you'll have to sit in, and you can tell us when you spot them. Yes, exactly. But, you know, we love that we get to pull from so much on this show, and yeah. And yeah, it's just, it's fun. Okay, so now I'm going to go, oh gosh, as I eat shit. Here we go, here we go. Let's see. When will Liz find out about Jones? When will Liz find out about Jones? Um, mm. uh, it's a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit more. But and I tonight's think tonight's when she starts to gather. There's some, oh yeah, there are some she some hints. To... She, she knows something's up. She knows something up. And, and it, yeah, she just starts to get a sense of like where things are at out here in Roswell. You're intrepid, yeah. as we always say <laughs> yeah. on the show, and yeah. it's hard to keep things from you. That's what I. That's why I love her. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more. Let me see. I'm just gonna scroll up and see what it lands on. Okay, we we asked that already. Fave episode. Um, I, I do have a favorite Liz and Isabel scene. Lily was actually talking mm. about this the other day. Um, a scene we have probably like. Midway through the season, mm -hmm. the one on the the car where we're hanging out, and it's a real yes. nice like end of the episode little scene. That's what I was gonna say. It's an end of episode moment between them, which is like yeah. I don't think you've ever you two have ever had an end of episode moment. No, and it was so fun. And we, um, Chris was talking about this earlier. We got asked at uh, EW how much of our own dynamics offset filter end up filtering into our characters, and um, yeah, Lily and I hadn't really had time to do that. And you know, we drink a lot of wine. Yeah, offset. Yeah. So it was about time Liz and Isabel got to drink wine together, as Lily and Janine do. Um, okay. Um, so I'm not even going to answer that one. Um, let's see. Will this be saved? I will do my best to save this, I promise. I know I failed you guys last time. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. Ooh, a Hatch Chili-themed episode. That Boom. could be fun. There's some Hatch Chili puns coming up in season four, though. I will tease that. Yes. There's a bunch of, we were, we were cutting little hatch chilies into little alien shapes. So that's something for a year from now. You guys can uh, remind us about that. Yes. That'll, that, we're shooting that this week. So that'll be fun. Um, will Kyle and Max become BFFs? I think this is a good place. Oh man. There's, uh, there's a scene. There's, there's a they scene. I'll get them. They have great scenes. They have great scenes. I will tease this. There's a scene that didn't make it that I want to release okay. where it's Max and Kyle sitting on the crash down sign up on the roof and they have <laughs> like this full scene where, which is very like bromance. -y. Yeah. Uh, it didn't make it for some story reasons and some time reasons. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they'll become friends. I think they have a respect for each other yeah. and it's kind yeah. of fun to watch them poke at each other. I, I would know. argue. I love it. Yeah. I mean, I love it. All right. We'll go one more. Um, Okay, this is fun. Please tell me, if it were up to you, what original character, so I'm assuming that means from the OG series, do you want to guest star? Hmm. Huh. Am I, I'm answering this one? Hmm. That's a good one. Um, you know, I've, I've said this before, but I would love to see Mahandra come in. She's Latina. Yeah. And you know I love an excuse yeah, yeah. to bring more Latinas onto right. our show, which... We're getting to do in season four. Yep, yep, more. And they more, even more. sort of leak into the end of season three. So that's, that's something true. people could look forward to. We have some more Latinas coming your way. Okay, I think we should go, guys, because Chris is a busy man and is trying to write an episode, a season of television that we start shooting tomorrow. Um, but I promise I will try to save it. And um, thank you for watching. Enjoy the episode tonight, 8, 7 Central on the CW. Yeah, okay. we couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much for, for being a part of this. We love it. We Thank love you for uh, making time for me. We love you guys. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye.